Kings Country at kingscountry.net. Thanks for riding shotgun with me through the midday thing. It's a TGIF edition of the Jim King of the Radio Show. Let's kickstart things this morning with a little sample, a little taste test, as it were. Craig Morgan performed That's What I Love About Sunday during a recent appearance on the Grand Old Opry. Check this out. Sweet Miss Betty liked to sing off key in the pew behind me. It's what I love about Sunday. I sing along as the choir sways. Every verse of amazing grace. Then we shake the preacher's hand. Country at kingscountry.net. Thanks for riding shotgun through the midday thing in the Red Rocket Cadillac style. I promise I'll keep it between the ditches. That was Trace Atkins watered down. Nothing watered down here. Nothing but the cream of the crop, all killer and no filler. Our country music mix is the most magnificent country music mix on the planet 24 7 and 365. Got to pay a couple of bills, but back in a flash right after these with the Jeff Healy Band, Angel Eyes. Cool song. And thanks to our fine sponsors of King's Country. Today's show is brought to you by Proper Mask Wearing. Please stop pulling them down while talking to people working at the deli. You're defeating the purpose. Jeez. Streaming from the studios of King of the Road Productions in Beaumont, Texas. Yeah, we come to you from here five days a week, Monday through Friday. 10 to 2, with any luck at all. I do miss here. I, I do play hooky once in a while, but don't tell anyone. That's between me and you. You can do that when you're self-employed. Did I mention yet today that I love my boss? <laughs> uh, I'll get off of that. And get on the TV show. Yeah, I got a brand new episode set to air this weekend of the Jim King of the TV show. Debuts tomorrow morning at 6.30 on the CW. It'll air prime time tomorrow night following local news on Fox 4, and then Encore Performance Sunday at 12 noon on The CW. It's Bersinio and Bradley's episode. We'll kick it off with Chuck Bersinio. We recently caught up with that cat at Honky Tonk Texas and Silsby. We'll pay tribute to my friend, the late, great Sterling Bradley, owner of Bradley's Collision Center in Port Natchez, and show you how they're carrying on the excellence that he helped uh, strengthen at Bradley's Collision Center. We'll have the Southeast Texas debut of Lucas Hodges' new video as our Pine Tree Lodge Music Clip of the Week from Nashville. And my buddy Bronco Jr. will be back in the Royal Spotlight with an original tune thanks to Bradley's Collision Center. Between me and you, there's a fire still burning, there's a heart still yearning for your kiss. Between me and you, there's a bitter sweet memory of a love wild and carefree but it couldn't last and you were the one I could always talk to just between me and you you were my world you were my closest friend and I can't help but think of what might have been and between me and you there's a fire still burning there's a heart still yearning for your kiss check out Bronco Jr. tomorrow and and Sunday on local TV CW and Fox 4 or you can stream the segments tomorrow at jimkingoftheroad.com on demand and the entire episode and thanks for streaming King's Country at kingscountry.net King's Country at kingscountry.net. As I keep saying, I think I see the light at the end of the tunnel. A year ago, things seemed pretty dark and dreary. With all the cancellations and the pandemic raging around the U.S., still is a big problem, but I'm sure glad to be vaccinated. Takes a load off my mind. Feel freer. Move around a little more freely. No worries. Here's some COVID chaos news. Miller Lite isn't giving out free beer if you get vaccinated, but they... Make a line of shirts with the sleeve missing. You can wear it to get your shot. The shirts say almost Miller time, and the cost is just 10 bucks. 
Proceeds going to the U.S. Bartenders Guild, and I'm sure they can use it after this pandemic. And some events are are apparently just too big to get canceled, even with a pandemic. Like this festival in India where people get together every year to throw cow dung to celebrate the Lunar New Year. Yeah, thousands of people gathered for the event on Wednesday, right in the middle of COVID's second wave in the country. Would you go to a festival to throw cow dung? I know. None of my business. King's Country at kingscountry.net. That's Jason Aldean. Laughed until we cried. I'm just Jim King. And I think I'm I, I'm having a fabulous flashback. Could get bumpy. Hold on tight. King of the road. Backstage in Beaumont at the old Wild Bills. Fabulous flashback to 2006 with Jason Aldean. Would you believe it? Jason Aldean in Beaumont. Is this your first time here, guy? Yeah, it is. We were actually supposed to play here last year when the hurricanes came through and um, had to cancel the show, so this is actually a makeup show for us. We were actually on our way here last year when we got the call that they had uh, evacuated the town and all that stuff, so we turned around and and uh, so this is the makeup show. So this is our first time here, and we're looking forward to it. We've got a really inspirational show uh, story. Starting uh, a few years ago, you were just about ready to pack it in, weren't you? You going to yeah. give it like six more months and head back uh, to Georgia. Yeah, I mean, I'd been in Nashville for about five and a half years at that point and, and had been playing clubs for probably seven years prior to that five. So, I'd, you know, I'd been at it for a while and, and moved to Nashville. And like a lot of artists, you know, new artists when they move to town, I mean, you just kind of go through a lot of the ups and downs. And, and uh, you know, Nashville can, can put you through the ringer sometimes. Right. And, and for me, it was, you know, it was kind of that. And, and things had just changed from the time I moved there. You know, until the time, you know, five, five and a half years later, I moved there. I was by myself, and I could live off bologna sandwiches. But, mm-hmm. you know, five and a half years later, I had a, a wife and a, and a daughter. And, yeah. and your priorities kind of start changing a little bit at that point. And, and for me, you know, it was uh, just a thing where I was trying to be responsible and do, you know, what I had to do to, to, to live. And, and so I actually played a show in Nashville. It was like one of my last showcases I had there. And, and uh there was a record label supposed to be there. They called about five minutes before I went on stage and said they weren't going to show up. They mm-hmm. weren't going to make it. And so we went on. We played the show anyway. And and I met a guy after the show who wanted to work with me. And and uh, you know at that point I didn't have anything to lose. I was like, yeah, okay, man. You get me a record deal, I'll let you work with me. It was uh-huh. you know it was kind of that simple. And five and a half weeks later, I had a record deal and and uh, or an offer. And and so that was kind of when things started turning around a little bit. And and it just kind of kind of went from there we started making an album you know signed with broken bow records and they were ready to get to work and so was i so it was a good fit this kind of music could get me pregnant king's country at kingscountry.net i'm jim king got a little confession i'm not a huge fan of those award shows and normally don't watch them but this weekend this sunday is the acm award the uh Academy of Country Music Awards. Speaking of that, here's some breaking news from Nashville. Eric Church never thought he'd win CMA Entertainer of the Year. And when he did, he felt a responsibility to live up to the honor. He's up for the same award on Sunday at the ACMs and says it means more to him now than it ever has. Listen to him talk about it here. Coming off the CMA Entertainer of the Year, I've said this in interviews, and I really believe this, that I did not know what that award would mean to me because we never won that award and never thought we would. And I felt a responsibility. I know what that award means to the format. I know what that means historically. And I tried to live up to that. I mean, I think with the vaccinations, I think with the touring, I think with the things that we've tried to do during this, I've done more in that regard than I ever would have because I understand the people that came before me, and I understand the people that will come after me. So that nomination means more to me now probably than it ever has, because we've won. And I think representing the format that I adore is something that I'm trying to live up to. Good luck, Eric Church, the ACM Entertainer of the Year nomination. ACM's Academy of Country Music Awards this Sunday. Check local listings. But thanks for listening to King's Country at kingscountry.net, and tell your friends about us. King's Country at kingscountry.net. I'm Jim King, and I've got to tell you, I may have told you this before, but I've got to remind you that my favorite all-time quarterback, you guessed it, 
Brett Favre. In fact, I've got an autographed Brett Favre jersey hanging here at the castle. I'm very proud of that. Not to take anything away from uh, my man Rogers, Aaron Rodgers. It's amazing how he stepped in to fill Brett's shoes, and he's done a fantastic job with the Packers. Well, anyway, uh, Brett Favre wants to take politics out of sports. You may have heard about this. You can hear it from the horse's mouth now. And I think both sides, for the most part, want to see it just remain about the sport, not about politics. At least that's my interpretation. I, I know when I turn on a, a game, I want to watch a game. I want to watch players play and teams win and lose, come from behind. I want to watch all the important parts of the game, not what's going on outside of the game. And I think the, the general fan feels the same way. That's my man, Brett Favre. I'm just Jim King. I'm not a real king, but I play one on TV and definitely not a quarterback. Kings Country at kingscountry.net. As I mentioned earlier, the Academy of Country Music Awards take place on CBS this Sunday, Sunday, Sunday with Keith Eben and Mickey Guyton hosting it. And Luke Combs is looking forward to seeing the performances at Sunday's ACMs. Listen to him talk about it here. I think they did such a great job last year of using the situation to the show's benefit, which was making it super musical. And, you know, there wasn't a lot of bells and whistles because there couldn't be a ton of production people and there couldn't be, you know, a bunch of people on set mm-hmm. doing set design and moving stuff around. So I think I'm looking forward to all the performances because it's like last year it was so musical. It was real bare bones. You know, there wasn't a lot to hide behind last year. So I'm looking forward to that and and hoping that they, you know, kind of continue, you know, that motif of of making it super musical. Academy Country Music Awards this Sunday. Check it out on CBS. And thanks for checking out King's Country at kingscountry.net. Coming to you from Beaumont, Texas, where country is king. It's when we fall. That's Vince Gill and his lovely wife, Amy Grant, when we fall apart on King's Country at kingscountry.net. I remember uh, about 2005, Vince and Amy came to Southeast Texas and played a show at Ford Arena. It was a Christmas show. The attendance was a little disappointing, but a fantastic show, and I got to go backstage and meet uh, Vince and Amy. One of those memorable experiences from my terrestrial radio career. I'm Jim King. Stick around, because coming up after this short break... We got waiting backstage. Their Highness is the Judds on King's Country. And thanks for listening. Listen for King of the Road. Well, I just think about a guy going down the road making up a song as he goes along. Trailers for two are rent. Rooms to at 50 cents. It looks like he's just going along the highway just making up a song. Jim King. You want some big old hot tails? You come on down here to Red Tails. They're as big as your hand. The crawfish are hot. The beer is cold. King's Country at kingscountry.net. That's Cody Johnson on my way to you. I'm just Jim King. But I've met Cody Johnson, and uh, as you well know, I'm prone to those fabulous flashbacks. Could get bumpy. Hold on. Do not be alarmed if you hear anything unusual. King of the road. Backstage in Jasper, Texas with Cody Johnson. Cody Johnson, you kind of had a beginning, sort of like a Chris Ledoux, because yeah. he did the same thing, selling uh, selling CDs out of the back of his car and uh, hitting the rodeos. And... But, well, I didn't realize that at the time. You know, I'd always grown up, you know, Chris was a big influence on me, but I didn't realize that he had come from such a humble upbringing as far as financially and had to do that. Uh, we did a we did a trip up to Canada this year, and I actually got to sit down with Chris's old hauling partner. He's like an eight-time saddle bronc Canadian champion, and he was telling me these stories about how Chris couldn't buy McDonald's, and he was selling his CDs to try to make up for his entry fee money that he lost. And you're talking about a world champion, so I said, "Well, at least we know we're doing one thing right. We can get we can follow in those footsteps. Those are good ones." One of the thrills of my uh, radio career was actually getting to meet Chris Ledoux. Um, you kid. This was uh, probably ten year, years ago, just before he passed. See, now I'm a little jealous. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was nothing to be jealous of. I was in a kind of a cattle call, you know, like they do at the uh, <laughs> backstage areas. But uh, the co- another cool thing is you were actually a prison guard, weren't you? Yes. You were the Huntsville prison? Yeah. And people say, you know, people say that all the time. There's like seven within the city limits mm-hmm. there. And I, 
you know, like I said, I grew up around a, a prison farm, and the only thing that bothered me about working there and quitting was uh, going to shows afterwards. First time we went to Amarillo, I heard, look out, boss. I turned around, and it was two guys that had worked for me in the field. And she won't cheat again on me. King of the Road. Country, kingscountry.net, cruising to the end of another Jim King of the radio show for another week, actually. Watch the Jim King of the TV show. Debuts tomorrow morning at 6.30 here in Southeast Texas on the CW. Encore performance tomorrow night at 9.30, prime time, following local news on Fox 4. Then final encore performance Sunday at 12 noon on the CW. For those of you outside of Southeast Texas, just log on to jimkingoftheroad.com. Tomorrow afternoon, you'll be able to stream the segments on demand. And uh, as I started last week, I'm posting the entire episode as well. Found out recently that I can put a 30-minute show up there. That helps my sponsors, and uh, it's just good viewing. Check it out. It's got Chuck Brasenio. We got an exclusive with that cat from Honky Tonk, Texas. We'll uh, pay tribute to my good friend Sterling Bradley, the late, great Sterling Bradley of Bradley's Collision Center as they carry on in his memory. We'll have the Southeast Texas debut of Lucas Hodges' new video as our Pine Tree Lodge music clip of the week. And thanks to Bradley's Collision Center, uh, Bronco Jr. will be in the Royal Spotlight. There's the lineup for this weekend, the Jim King of the TV show. Be back here same time, same station, Monday morning at 10-ish on King's Country. Have a great weekend. Later, Jim. Hey, she's my lady lucky, I'm her wild card man. Together we're building up a real hot band. 